underground bunker. This is your proprietor. It's the day after our Thanksgiving miracle. We hope you enjoyed uh, the conversation with Mike Rinder. Just came up at the last minute and real glad we got to do that for y'all. So uh, the other thing we've had a chance to write about this week while we're waiting to go back to L.A. for the Danny Masterson trial, uh, a new Impact Magazine is out. I love Impact Magazine. It's the best. It's the best thing Scientology puts out. Because that's the magazine where they celebrate the whales, the wealthy donors that keep Scientology going. And I could see there was some confusion from people. A lot of people are asking me why Tom Cruise's name isn't on the list. And I guess uh, I need to explain again how the IAS list works for those of you that are a little newer. We've been covering this for years. It's been really fun to see whose names are on that list each time. Just a little background uh, L. Ron Hubbard, when he was running Scientology, they had a membership organization that would cost you like 50, 75 bucks a, a year. He was not really interested in raising money simply as donations. He wanted, Hubbard believed in something he called exchange. That if people are giving you money, they need to get something for it. A book, a course. He didn't want just straight donations for the most part. But that's changed quite a bit. And part of the reason is, in the mid-1980s, while Hubbard was in hiding, nobody knew, very few people knew where he was, Scientology had a major challenge. Two big lawsuits going on at the same time in Los Angeles and Portland. And why they're so important, these two, is that, you know, Scientology gets sued for a lot of different things. But these lawsuits were very scary for Scientology because they were brought by former members who were suing over the technology. In other words, they were saying that Scientology itself, the courses, the auditing, this stuff dreamed up by L. Ron Hubbard, was harmful to them. And in both cases, juries agreed. After hearing the evidence of how Scientology actually works, they, each of these former members was awarded around $30 million each. It was a really scary time for Scientology. Think of how many former members could sue over the exact same thing. So one of the results of that was that uh, some people, and Chuck Beatty describes this whole thing really well. Uh, I, didn't, I don't think David Miscavige was initially involved in this, but some folks started up basically a defense fund. That's what the IAS really was at the beginning in 1985 or whenever it started was a defense fund because of these lawsuit challenges. Over the years, what it has become is Scientology's membership organization, the International Association of Scientologists, IAS. And instead of just paying 50 or $75 a year so you can call yourself a Scientologist, it's this major slush fund for church leader David Miscavige. People are encouraged to, rate, to donate huge amounts of money um, once you've donated $50,000 to this thing, for, and for nothing in return, there's no exchange here. You don't get courses. You don't get anything. But you do get a status. It's called patron. You are now a patron of Scientology. You've donated 50000 Once you get there, of course, you're encouraged to give even more because if you can get to 100000 then you're a patron with honors. See, they've got these cute little, they call them statuses, you're never done. You're always working towards the next one. And what Impact Magazine does is when you reach a new level, and it might have been years since the last time you reached a level. You might have been patron in 2010, and it's only now that you've given another 50000 and you've reached patron with honors at 100000 But once you reach that level, you get named in the magazine. Uh, and then... When you get to higher levels, patron meritorious, silver meritorious, gold meritorious. When you reach gold meritorious, it means you have given the IAS a million dollars. And it might have taken several years for you to get there, okay? And what, But once you reach that level, you are celebrated as a new gold meritorious in Impact Magazine. And by the time you get to... Silver Meritorious, which is 500000 or 
gold meritorious of a million, you're going to get your picture in the magazine. In fact, normally what would happen in October is they'd have a big party in England to celebrate these folks. You'd get to travel there, get all dressed up, and you'd be presented a big trophy. And you and your trophy would be in Impact Magazine. So what I want people to understand from this is that the people that show up in the magazine are those that have just reached a new level. It's not everybody who's ever donated. It's not like a donate, you know, database of all the donors. It's just those people that have given enough to reach that next title and get their trophy. That's who's in each year. And, and we enjoy seeing those lists. And, of course, they change. And some people are, may, we may not see in there for you know, years, and then they show up again. Um, above gold meritorious is there's uh, diamond meritorious and then platinum meritorious. Platinum meritorious is two and a half million dollars. And one of the first platinum meritorious, uh, you know, awardees was Tom Cruise in 2005. But that makes sense because that was the time, 2004, 2005, when Tom was really visible for the church he was arguing with matt lauer and jumping on oprah's couch and yeah he was included in impact magazine as platinum meritorious two and a half million dollars uh that year in 2005 we haven't seen him in there since now does that mean he stopped giving he hasn't given more well the the statuses go higher and higher they had to keep adding new ones the only reason we know that platinum meritorious is two and a half million and that gold meritorious is one million the only reason we know those is that Patty Moyer in 2006 had leaked those, had gotten a copy of a magazine from 2006 and leaked it later on the internet. And But what about the higher ones? Patron Laureate, Diamond Maximus. We had to estimate those, but we based it on a mathematical progression of what the lower numbers were. And we actually consulted with somebody who was an employee at the IASA, the IAS Administrative uh, administrators, whatever. These are the people that run the AI, IAS, and one of my sources actually did help run the IAS, and he told me my numbers were actually conservative. So, and that's the way I like it. I don't want to, you know, when I say that Tom Cummins is given forty million dollars because he's Diamond Maximus, I'd rather that that be less than he's given than more, right? So, those are the estimates we use. Um, and it's always interesting to see who's up on those super high numbers because there's not that many of them. But again, the point is that the people in a particular magazine are the people who that this year reached that new level. Also, we think that the celebrities purposely ask not to be included in those because they know we're going to leak it. We're going to write about it. The last celebrity we really saw um, reaching the higher, higher levels was um, Nancy Cartwright, the voice of Bart Simpson, who reached a level of $17.5 million recently. Now, does that mean, and we haven't, it's been a couple years, does that mean she has stopped donating, donating? Not necessarily. It might mean she's reached, just hasn't reached the next level yet, because once you get up to those levels, you've got to give a lot of money to get to the next trophy. So, again, we, we just got the list. It's got some familiar names, but you're not seeing celebrities on it. That doesn't mean the celebrities aren't giving money. It might mean that they haven't reached another level or they've asked not to be included. So, um, but it did, it, one, I will say, and this is something I pointed out numerous times, Scientology is shrinking. Its overall membership is down. There's probably only 20,000 active Scientologists around the world right now. But look at that list. David Miscavige is still very good at getting these huge million-dollar-plus donations from wealthy Scientologists. It's, it's stunning. It's incredible how much they give. And, and another thing that's very important to keep in mind, this is just donations to the IAS. Scientologists are asked to give much more money in other ways. First of all, all your courses, auditing, accommodations when you go to FLAG. You can't imagine how much money you spend at FLAG for weeks and weeks getting auditing at seven or $800 an hour. None of that is included in these IAS totals. Also, people like Tom Cummins, who's our top winner this time, he's hit up for millions in giving for ideal org programs, for book dissemination campaigns, 
for the uh, eight LRH Hall that's being built in Clearwater. So th this number that you see next to a person's name, a million, five million, that's only part of what they're being asked to give, but at least gives us some indication of who the big donors are, who the big whales are, we like to call them. And uh, so that's, that's what these numbers mean. Again, if there's people on the list that you're not seeing there, they just may have not reached their next level yet, or they may have been asked not to be included. So, but it's always fun to see them. I hope you enjoyed seeing those names. And I hope you, again, hope you enjoyed that uh, interview with Mike. Uh, he told us some pretty interesting things, didn't he? <laughs> we always have fun. Um, I'll be flying back to L.A. pretty soon. And uh, we'll get back to that trial. But it's been a very nice stay back here in New York at home. Had a nice Thanksgiving. Hope you did. And uh, from somewhere in New York, this is your proprietor signing out. <laughs>